Hello beautiful Aries and welcome to your end of 2023 general tarot guidance with me Julie Poole. Hello, welcome or welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. This is your general tarot for the next couple of weeks for the end of December 2023. All right, my beautiful people, this is good for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, cross watching, however you want to watch it. And I'm done up like a dog's dinner because it's Christmas. So let's make an effort. Well, I just felt I wanted to make an effort for you. All right, my beautiful people, let's see what we have for Aries. What do we got going on? Well, that nearly wanted to come. If it's meant to come, it'll pop back out. What do we have for Aries? End of the year, please. End of the year. What's going on for Aries? What are we wrapping up? What are we finishing off before we hit 2024? Okay, we've got Between Worlds. We've got Yin. And we've got Mending. Okay, all right. So let's have a little look at this one. We're going to start with the Mending card, okay? So any part of your world life, relationships, attitudes, behaviours, health, whatever it is for you, Aries. You're just wrapping up, mm, finishing off any... Okay, they're just saying... If you've... If you've if I get my words out. If you've had any fallings out with people, if you have any tension going on in your life, if you've got anything out of balance, this is when you're going to be mending it, fixing it, by using your intuition and feeling into it okay the yin energy this beautiful energy to be to feel to allow to be in the flow it's lovely energy we're going to pull it in and say right any part of me that needs mending let's allow it to just heal and transform and transmute because you are in between worlds. You are ready to take your tail end out of the black and white and pop yourself fully into the colour that is waiting for you. The blue skies, the expansion, the growth, the joys. That's what we're wanting. All right. This is the time of year where we're in this energy of love and forgiveness and connections and family and all that good stuff. All right. So Let's get some tarot and find out a little bit more. All right. What are we mending, please? What's my Aries mending? Okay, so they're saying a lot of you just need rest. You're, you're mending exhaustion. You just need to slow down and rest a little bit. Let's find out some more. Tell me more for my Aries, please. Thank you. Oh, what, all of them? No, just the lovers. Okay, all right. So... Lovers, let's get them all out before we start chatting. Okay. Okay, we've got the, and we want more. All right, that's going over there. All right, fine, thank you. I'm listening to my team. They tell me what to do. Okay. We've got the King of Coins. We've got the Six of Wands, Victory, and we've got the Knight of Swords. Nice. All right. That's the um, Tarot Dreams. This is the Moon and Stars Tarot, because I know many of you will comment, like, what, what cards are they? What's the deck? So I always try to tell you. All right. And the decks I use, I link below if you want to get them for yourself. The Empress. Nice. Oh, the Ten of Cups. Page of Cups. So we want that one. Four of Pentacles and Three of Swords. Okay. Right. We are shifting. We are changing. We're going to use another deck to clarify as well. But let's talk about this little lot first of all. So these kind of go together here, all right, under here. And these are going together under that, right. So the mending energy. So this is repairing, healing, making something better. OK, what what do we need to make better? So for some of you, it's your relationship with your significant other. So, you, you know, all relationships, long term relationships go through ups and downs. Of course they do. This is real life. So if you've been having a bit of tension or a bit of distance or whatever it is for you, we're healing this now just simply by feeling into it with the yin energy, by spending some time together, by making an effort and predominantly by talking. OK, the page of swords is communication, opening up the opportunities to talk and share and connect. All right. Strong connection energy here. The page of swords is often connecting online. All right. So 
Um, this could be with a friend, somebody at a distance, that you are pulling that togetherness back together, okay? Um, and look at the outcome here. We've got the Empress and the Ten of Cups. So you're creating with the Empress. You're creating, you're building abundance and beauty within the relationship. And it's leading to the Ten of Cups, which is wonderful. That's the happiness wanting to come in. Now, the Lovers is also about a decision. So making a decision. Do I choose to mend this or am I going to stay in a bit of a funk about it? Am I going to stay resenting? Am I going to stay distant? Do I choose to just say, do you know what? Stuff it. I can't be bothered. Um, it's done. Or do I choose to... Let's make some effort to talk and to repair and let's bring it back into a beautiful place because the Empress is Venus led and she wants the world to be beautiful. She wants herself to be beautiful. She wants her relationships to be beautiful. We're creating something very lovely here. OK, all right. Now we're going to use the yin energy, that intuition, that feeling into it to really be looking at my stability and security and my abundance. King of coins, nice. You know, of all the kings, he is the most affluent in terms of money, all right? Financial security. So when we have that financial security, we feel solid and secure, then we can get to that 10 of cups, right? So the page of cups is going to allow opportunities to open up for you to bring in that 10 of cups, to work it towards that 10 of cups so that we can pull in extra happiness, all right? Now, they're saying as well, all right, I'm just listening. They want you to feel into um, where you are in terms of your finances and in terms of your stability, because that's what we are wanting to expand. That's what we're wanting to mend. We want to feel safe and secure and to know that there's enough. This is a lovely energy of affluence here wanting to come in for you. And this is what you're heading towards in the between worlds. So we're opening up to this expansion. Number three is about expansion and growth. So we're going into an expansion that is brighter, that is better. I mean, look at this beautiful card. You know, the flamenco there is just what a flamingo is it's wanting to really stretch itself into something better. And you're going to achieve this because we've got the victory card right underneath it. The six of wands, victory, success, recognition, achievement. You know, this is a really lovely time of year at the end of the year to pat yourself on the back and say, I've done it. <laughs> That, you know, I got through this year and I've grown and I've expanded and I've stretched and I'm so pleased with myself. And, you know, if I've been able to mend relationships and remember your first relationship is with yourself. So you may here be putting a lot of extra attention into you. Yeah, like me dressing up today to do these videos for you. When we put that attention into ourselves, it makes us feel a sense of upliftment and pride and feeling good. All right. So don't forget you in this. It's not just about other people. Your first relationship is with yourself. So we have this victory over the four of pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles can be a card of insecurity. It's it's holding on a little bit too tightly. We've got enough. We've got the Four of Pentacles. We've got the Four Coins, and that's enough. But we're a little bit holding on too tightly about, oh, I've got to be careful, got to be cautious. What if, what if, what if? So this is about, look, trusting yourself that you are victorious, that you are achieving, you are being seen and you're being noticed and you're being recognized. So let's let go with the control and say, it's okay to trust that I, I am in the flow, all right? Because that's the yin energy. I'm in the flow of my financial abundance and I'm creating opportunities for even greater abundance. And I'm victorious in this. I'm stepping into this new world in a much more uh, empowered way, chuffed with myself, like, yay, all right? Now, Knight of Swords is 
again with the communication. We've got the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So the Page is creating those opportunities, you know, going online, doing a bit of research, figuring things out, maybe watching some videos. Um, you know, if this is about mending, let's say, um, you know, a, a big fallout with somebody, you might go and watch some videos about how to deal with conflict or how to manage conflict in relationships. You know, it's, it's, I'm doing some research and I'm going to talk it through. Now, the Knight of Swords is much more about that action, direct action. He's the fastest knight in the deck. He's like, right, I figured it out and I'm going to sort it out. This is what I'm going to do. He's an action card. So we're taking that action to bring ourselves more and more to the forefront to be seen and recognized. So if you are wanting a promotion, um, a contract, they're showing me somebody writing a book. This has come out for a few signs. If you're wanting that deal, then we need to be seen and we need to feel empowered and successful. So we're taking that action. All right. Now, the three of swords underneath it is a negative card. The only one that you've got here. And the three of swords is hurts. All right. My heart hurts. I feel stabbed. I feel ouch. Now, this can be disappointment because you didn't achieve something you wanted to achieve by now. All right. You might be feeling very flat, you know, that perhaps you've been trying for a promotion or you've written a book and you want that publisher to, to do it. And the publisher is ignoring you, isn't interested, hasn't even responded, and we're feeling quite down about it. But if we can, and I know it's not easy, but if we can step into the belief that rejection is the universe's protection, that it's saving me, there is something better for me, yeah? Um, they just reminded me of me this time last year when I'd written my book and I was waiting on Hay House to give me a decision about publishing and it came in just before Christmas and they said, no, no, thank you. And I was gutted, but I felt into it and they said, publish it yourself. You'll have more control. It's okay. And I'm like, oh, okay. So that's what I did. And you've bought it and you've been loving it. So, you know, it's finding the way forward that is right for you. If this three of swords is coming out of trying to mend a relationship and it just can't be mended because sometimes it can't it's done then yes we go through the heart but we find a way to move forward into our new world okay so let's find out some more um we're going to use the rider weight deck tell me more about this mending please for aries what what are we mending all right so that sense of independence and empowerment. The Nine of Pentacles is mini Empress energy. She's very affluent. She's very independent. She's providing for her own needs. She's got enough money. Now she makes sure out of these Nine Pentacles that she's got six for herself, making sure she's meeting more than her needs. And then the other three she's got left over. Yeah, she's happy to share them. But she's making sure she's meeting her own needs. And she's not a miserable single. She's a happy, chilled, zen, empowered woman, right? Male or female, don't worry about the gender. But if what you're mending in the relationship is I feel alone a lot of the time, she's alone a lot of the time and she doesn't care. She gets on with her own things. She gets on with her own life. So we can be in a relationship and still be independent. So what you're mending here is your own sense of independence and empowerment for many of you. There's something more. Tell me more, please, for Aries. What is this mending? Yeah, power. The King of Wands, often an entrepreneur, all right? So some of you may be putting some extra effort and attention into your business, your job, um, your sense of personal power, okay, to make things happen and achieve. Because the King of Wands, he can achieve anything. He is so dynamic and determined and empowered. He's like, yep, I've decided I'm going to make that happen and I'm going to make it happen. He, he just goes for it, okay? So you are are in your power you're in a strong fiercely strong independent energy and yeah being able to really move things forward into a much happier place for yourself okay four of cups in reverse do we want it in reverse no we don't okay all right i don't usually read reversals but sometimes they tell me to leave it as it is for you they're saying no so 
something here to do with a decision of some kind that could be to do with relationships, doesn't have to be, but something in a decision here needs to be brought forward so that you can look at any areas that you're dissatisfied in. I mean, he's bored, he's, it's stale, it's stagnant, it's not doing it for him anymore. His three cups are still standing upright, but it's like, eh, eh, you know, it's, eh, <laughs> it's that kind of... Well, it's not hugely exciting. It's a bit boring. It's a bit stale. So the universe is coming along here and offering you a new cup. And you're looking at it and going, well, maybe, maybe not. Don't know, really. You know, it's that kind of energy. But we're getting to the Ten of Cups. So this cup is going to lead us to this. So we're going to say, yes, please, thank you very much. And we're going to take that cup. We're going to take that cup of happiness that's being offered to us and we're going to move it forward. I want another one over here. They're chatty with you, aren't they? There's your new beginning. Happy days. Okay, so we are moving ourselves forward into a new beginning, a fresh start from a place of empowerment and independence. We know we want more, so we're making the decision over here to get more. Lovely. Let's find out some more about this. Tell me more for Aries, please. Okay, so we've got the Knight of Wands and the King of Swords. Oh, so the Knight of Wands is all about passion, fast energy, um, enthusiasm. It's really about saying, what do I want to grow? Do you notice here on his wands, he's got the, the leaves are starting to sprout here. His energy is coming back. And he is stepping into this very strong energy. Two kings here now, okay? Well, three, because we've got the king of pentacles underneath. All right, there he is peeping out there. So we've got three three kings. <laughs> I'm just hearing, you know, the, the, the carol, we three kings of Orient are. So, king of swords. Using that sword to cut through any BS, to cut through any negativity, to... Get yourself clear and focused because we've got the swords here, the page and the knight, which is all about those thoughts and communication and clarity. And he is the top of the tree of the sword. So he is so focused, so clear about what he wants. And now he's going to go make it happen. So we are shifting something <laughs> and we're coming towards that sun. We want more positivity we want more upliftment we want more more full stop you know we want more and we want it to be bigger better brighter all right my team use those three words quite a lot you've heard me say it quite a lot um so we're shifting forward this new world that you're wanting to move into is going to be full of the sun and full of the ten of cups it's it's a new beginning here now uh, off it goes it's starting again it does this sometimes and it's to do with all the different colors on the table it'll calm down in a moment all right we've got the three of cups the king of cups the seven of wands and the knight of swords again all right let's pause there for a moment so this three of cups is a celebration i made it I've been seen, I've been recognised, I've been determined. I've got my another king here now. So we've got the King of Wands, the King of Swords, the King of Cups and underneath the King of Pentacles. So you're four kings out here now. We're only missing the Emperor. <laughs> we are very strongly in a empowered, dynamic, making it happen energy. The King of Cups is, I'm, I'm making it happen. I'm creating my happiness. I'm creating my stability. I'm holding my own. I'm holding my nerve. I am in my boundaries and my power to say, nope, this is what is right for me. And this is what I'm making happen. And I'm taking the action to bring it into fruition. I'm not just talking about it. I'm doing it. This is the Knight of Swords. He's doing it. You know, he's on the table twice. He's under here. 
So the Knight of Swords clarifies the Knight of Swords. So we are talking, we are expanding, we are reaching out, we are making things happen. In this last two weeks of December Aries, you are really taking everything and pushing it forward, ready for 2024. You're absolutely going to hit the ground running as we move into 2024. Love that for you. All right, let's find out some more. We want some messages from the angels. Inner peace. And who doesn't want a bit more peace? All right. So inner peace is what it's all about for you. And a door to the infinite. A bottom of the deck, heaven's door. So you are in this mission, all right, on this mission to get to that doorway where your peace resides and I want to step into it and feel that peace and that very similar energy here for you that peace is a heaven's door it's a heavenly place to just be feeling look at the orbs around this one and the angel guiding you towards the door we're stepping into a beautiful energy of peace and a allowing no enabling supporting encouraging you to open up that portal above you to your infinite potential a door to the infinite what is infinite it goes on and on and on there's no limits i can be and do anything i want without limits make that your mantra over these last two weeks of december i can be and do anything without limits so Aries that's what I have for you to wrap up this year I hope it's been helpful before I go I just want to take a moment to thank you for your support and love and care and subscribing to the channel and being part of this community and spending time watching my videos and all of your lovely comments not just to me I read all the comments you also comment to each other supporting each other which I think is just beautiful so thank you so much for all your support through 2023 I look forward to seeing you in 2024 I'll be back right at the end of the year with your January 2024 uh, monthly tarot guidance and for now this is me saying thank you have a wonderful Christmas a very happy holidays happy Christmas and a happy new year and I'll see you soon you take care Aries lots of love bye-bye